Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, we are Sid and Elle. I'm Sid, she's Elle. But basically, some of you may be thinking, oh my god, they look a bit glum. Because, <laughs> you know us, we're either no makeup or subtle makeup. We wanted to do something new today, and you're probably guessing from the title of the video that we've done something catfish related. <laughs> and we're not saying that people that wear loads of makeup are catfishes, but we're just saying. Disclaimer, like, disclaimer. Disclaimer, we're not hating. It's just a fun title. We just thought. We wanted to make ourselves a bit catfish because it's just not us to wear loads of makeup. It's not. And but we appreciate it. We are, we love it. We just wish we just can't, we can't. We're lazy. We're lazy. Mm. That's all it is. We didn't hold back on anything. The highlight, the glitter, the smoke, the lashes, everything. So if you want to see how we got these looks, then please keep watching. Cheers. Be warned. We do look a bit rough in the next clip. Never mind. Rude. <laughs> are you gonna go like full on like? Glitter. I might use your glitter, but um, only because I think glitter looks more simple to make any. Right, let me explain. I know what you mean. Like easy it, to easy to glam to it, but then a smoky eyes like oh, a lot of blending and a lot of technique mm. and like glitter. Like if it smudges, it's just a full out, ain't it? Do you know what I mean? You're about to see the biggest transformation of the year. Catfish glum! So who's ready to see this go from zero to a hundred? Three, two, one. This isn't something we do, so it's maybe it'll be only thing. It's gonna be I doubt it. I'm not saying I hate full B, like some people pull it off. I just don't think I've got skin for it. I'm actually gonna start with eyes, which I never do. That's how you know it's legit. Yeah. That's, that's you when know you know you're using glitter. Okay, so I'm putting concealer on my eyelids as a primer. I'm literally gonna about do the same, but I just don't know. Because I leave the lids off everything, I feel like everything dry, dries out. Snap! Yeah. <gasps> do you leave the lids off yours? What colour glitter are you gonna do? I'm not sure. I feel like you should do colour. Really? Not really big colour. I'm not like red, I mean like pink or purple or. I'm using Naked Smokey, the number, number 13, mm. the colour 13. So far, so good. We've done one step. Yeah, 11 o'clock in the morning as well from the MAC palette. I'm using Combust from Naked, um, I've just said it, Smokey, from the same palette, kids. It's crazy how much better I am at doing my own makeup than other people's. But is that the thing, ain't it? Yeah, it's because you know your own face. Guys, we've got a whole bag of goodies. Yeah, all though. Yeah, all right. Because, like, no, I'm saying, like... They're your children. No, I'm saying, when it gets on your hands, it's you're going to get it all over your face. I feel like I want to go for, like, the purple Purple. I feel like with that, you made it really pinky. I'm going to make it really purple. Right, I've chose, chosen. Final answer. Okay. Do you have any purpley colours? So, I'm going to go in... <laughs> The BH Cosmetics 120 palette first edition. I'm just gonna pick out some random purples. But I'm literally gonna go in with random purples. I'm gonna go in with this makeup palette as well in the shade Whiskey. This is no lie, I'm literally playing around with all these purple this bro of purple. This is such an experimental video. Oh, nice. Really? Time for the fun stuff. Where's the glitter glue? So I'm using the NYX glitter primer. If you're gonna use glue, don't use one of your favourite eyeshadow brushes. But I'm pretty sure they've designed this to wash off quite easy. Oh, by the way, I'm going in with black. Be careful with black eyeshadow, guys. Slowly, check baby steps. So I'm literally just gonna pack glitter on my lid, but I don't really want it that like, really, really new. So then I'm going with NYX, what did we just say this was? Rose. I wanna watch. <gasps> really? Then, I forgot to tell you. What? <laughs> if you want to do eyeliner, I'm going to do it before glitter. Just wish it wasn't so messy, otherwise I'd put it everywhere. I can just see twinkling out the corner of all my eyes. Looks sick. All your eyes. <laughs> all of them, guys. Every single one of them. And then just to make sure there's no... Not that I'm that fast, but just soften it out a little bit. She's learning. I'm learning. In a year's time, come back, guys. We'll be like, okay, so this family needs to come out. How's yours going? So far, so good. I mean, smoky eyes is quite a long process, guys. I've got my support system here. So I'm going to use L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base because oily as hell. Oh no, you're going to be done so quick. <sighs> oh, clear doesn't go, does it? Do you think eyeliner? Yeah. Big fat wing. Quite a big wing because this is catfish makeup. 
I'm gonna use Estee Lauder Double Wear in Ivory, Be Ivory Beige. Let's just scoop it on the face. I think it's a bit power. Don't worry, we can always fix that with some bronzing BB cream, can't we? You know. I'm just gonna be a gummy colour. No, I can't do it. I'm gonna have to take it off again. Really? Take two. Don't try and use a random foundation that you've had in your drawer for a while. Because... Right, let's just use the holy grail. You can't go wrong. Hello, flawless auction route in beige. Okay, I think that line is big enough. Right, that didn't take too long, and there's nothing on my face. So if you don't want fallout eyeshadows, guys, the ones that I used are pretty good. So the only thing with my foundations are they're quite medium coverage. Yeah, that's I've tried fun. to layer it and my concealer will sort that out. Sometimes it's not about the coverage, is it? Like, if you've got good skin, you don't need full coverage and your skin is good. I'm going to mix two foundations. Clinique and L'Oreal True Match and Beyond Perfecting. Just because, number one, the colours. I feel like I can make a better colour with both of them. And number two, the coverage. Like, the Clinique one's full coverage, but... I don't know if I like the feel of that. True Match does have good coverage, but it's quite thin, so. I'm just using a colour correcting cream from MUA, just because dark circles that love me. Oh, pink and white, pink and purple look. Aww. <laughs> I'm going to use two shades of Age Rewind, just because I'm a little bit tan at the moment. We could do like um, these experimental videos more often if everyone likes them. Literally just like completely spontaneous. Cause guys, we've never done this. Like we've never done these looks. I don't, yeah. I don't think I have. Not on me. But it's it's quite a challenge because I keep thinking, oh my god, no, you've got to put more on than that. And also the camera is gonna make us look like we're not wearing much. Mm -hmm. Well obviously we're wearing much, but not as much as we are because when we filmed our first YouTube video we didn't have much makeup on. And it looked like we had just got out of shower. Like, it completely drains your face, the camera. Guys, I haven't forgot about my eyebrows. I'll do it eventually. For contour, I'm using the Laura Mercier Contour Cream Palette. It's quite heavy, so perfect opportunity <laughs> now to use it. And I'm just going to use a, what this brush is called? They're like, inspired by the artist ones. Yeah, but it's not, it's Primark. But, you know. Oh, cool. Don't <laughs> worry, don't worry. I'm not worried. We can blend. Catfish for a reason. Imagine we actually didn't look anything like ourselves at the end. I just realised I didn't put primer on. Right, for highlight slash concealer, I'm going to go bright and loads. Because that's what catfishes do. <laughs> Not that I would know. <laughs> um, I've just blended out all that and now I kind of regret it because I liked how dated it was. Does that just to sharpen that out, just go under with some concealer. This is the Collection Last Infection Concealer, by the way. I'm going to put on more. Because if you're going to do more makeup, you're going to do it in this video, aren't you? Guys, isn't the best feeling taking off your makeup? And then I'm going to go over with my Taylor Blue Contour Palette. Just a powder palette. Just to make sure none of that slips off. Imagine it. So I'm just going to take some of the... The browns. going to set under my eyes now with Ovs Match Perfection, Rimmel. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about highlight. Mm. Imagine how black. Yes. And then while that is setting, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna do my brows a bit thicker than normal. Really? Yes. Oh, it's catfish. So I always start off by getting a gel brow. Gel brow. Clear brow gel. Yes. <laughs> just to bring them brows back. Start again. And I always just get my brows back to how they should be because when I wake up they're like my face because my when I wake up my eyebrows are like <laughs> 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 I pitch them having faces going <laughs> no but they like curve they try and do stuff they shouldn't do like they try and do back flips and all sorts contouring this big old brown face so I literally love this revolution brow pomade it's life it's five pounds it's so good and it's so there's so much in there I'm using the Elf Contour, uh, it's actually called Bronzer Palette, but I use it for contour because it's some nice matte shades. Quite dark, but, you know, today we're going to carve like we've never carved before. We're going to make them cheekbones come out whether they like it or not. Literally. My eyebrows are like stepbrothers. 
Not sisters, not twins, not brothers. cousins. They're step brothers. Work Didn't brothers. come from the same family. Because they're not even girls. They're just like next to each other because they have to be like step brothers. Just acquaintances. Yeah, they just work at the same place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do brows as well because my face looks weird. If in fear, brush through. Fear? Yeah. If, if in doubt? Doubt. Okay. You're not scared. If in doubt, brush through because you're just going to brush the product. I feel like they just know, they're like, oh, oh, oh we're getting yeah. in trouble. Yeah. Like, and they go into place and it's like, well done boys, that's where you're supposed to be. Why do you always sit under here? Because I've it, always wondered it. It kind of like carves out the contour more. More like an um, like actual line. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known if it weren't for you. Really? One eyebrow, done. So you'll back me up on this. Me and my eyebrows have been through a lot, haven't we? She had purple eyebrows at one point. So when I started getting into makeup, I watched some tutorials on the good old tube. And not on the tube, on YouTube, guys. She wasn't sitting on the tube. Because <laughs> eyebrows filling in was never a thing when we were young. The first time I did it, I used a lip liner. <laughs> she did what? A lip liner! I didn't know that for sure, but I'm guessing that's why. Not like bright purple like my eyes at the moment. She's been through a lot. Now my face looks a bit more normal. I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. Me too! <laughs> I'm going to go back in with some purples now. Basically guys, I'm going, oh, I'm just going back in with the colours that I used earlier and smoking out the bottom. Starting with the darkest closer to the eye and smoking out with the transitions. How funny someone said they can't understand us sometimes because we they can't understand our accent. Because our accent, accent, accent is so strong. Okay, so my eyes are done. I'm going on to the good stuff now. The fun stuff. Done. Mascara. Lashes. Oh my god. Mascara. I'm going to dust away me face. Guys, my eye tweezers have a lot on them. So the eyelashes I'm using are Eileen. Pack of more than one, but I'm using one. I'm using very big ones. Are these pre-glued? No. I'm a bit scared, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, this is full glam and you know, you see all of the YouTubers and glam gurus using these kind of massive ones. So we've got to jump on that bandwagon. <sighs> you don't know unless you try. I get stressed about it. These looks definitely need eyelashes, don't they? Wow. These feel really nice guys. If you're on a budget but you want like glam eyelashes. <gasps> How? It's fine, it never happened. I might do. I got one of Kylie's first ever lip glosses. Um, like it was her first sale of gloss and it, this is like Everyone was banging on about how she changed a lot of stuff after she'd done her first sale because there was a lot of complaints and stuff with the brush. I swear to you, I've not used this in a couple of months and I have not damaged it in any way. <laughs> but guys, everyone was right moaning about her brushes. So I'm going to go in with the darker colour because I feel like you can't overline your lips unless you use a darker colour than your lips. But I do kind of want a nude lip, so we're going to have to lighten it up after. So I'm using Nice and Spicy by MAC. But then I'm going to go in a little bit with Exposed by Kylie Cosmetics. I feel like my eyes weigh seven stone. And then I feel like I want to go in with this, even though it's a catastrophe. I'm just going to have to put it on my hand and put it on with a brush. I haven't worn this much makeup in ever. I'm doing highlight now. I'm doing blush. I think I'm gonna use the highlight I normally use, but I'm just gonna go over the top with it. So I'm gonna use the Kylie Bible palette, but I use this one. I like to use this for the Techniques brush, and then just spray it with either Fix Plus or any setting spray that I've got. So I'm gonna use two highlighters because extra soft and gentle, you know, and Becca Moonstone. This is bright. So guys, a little tip. Well, I think. Nice. I never take my highlight lower than like here because I feel like that's where your pores are your deepest. Mm. So unless you've got really small pores and then your highlighter gets all up in your pores and then it like accentuates your pores. Hey, pause again. Pause. <laughs> so um yeah, I just don't like that. 
Well, highlight is everything. I feel like a drag queen at the moment, but highlight is everything. I'm done. I just gotta do lips. This is Chalk Therapy by H&M. Guys, the hair's coming down. It's serious. So I am done. Glitter. Highlight. To the max. People probably watch this like, oh my god, you can do so much more than that. But I just, I just feel like I can't. I can't. I don't know how. How do you put that much highlight on your face? Wow. That is how you be a catfish. Oh my god, I don't even feel like me. and making yourself look different so we understand that some of you this is just normal makeup but for us it's quite a lot so we're cool with that you know you do you if you if you think this is way too much then that's cool too if you don't like makeup that's cool we just wanted to have fun with it mm. and it was fun mm. i love experimenting with makeup so these are our looks we hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know if you liked us experiment with makeup and we'll do it more. And if you like if you think we look better, tell us. <laughs> if you think we're catfishes, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on our other social media accounts. So we both have a personal Instagram and we have a joint Instagram. We'll link them all down below. That's about it. That's about it. Have a good day. We love you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye.